What is going on guys and welcome back to another top 5 designs where today we are going to be looking at dining room designs. Now guys all of these designs are done in vanilla Minecraft with absolutely no world edit and are purely for your guys inspiration. So guys I hope you enjoy it and let's get straight into it. So here we are with the very first design and this design is a traditional style kitchen built by Adam. Now the first thing you may notice in this room guys is this very nice grand dining table right here with a nice chandelier design on top of that. Very easy to pull off as well. You have a beacon in the middle of it and then you just surround it with some glass panes. You can mix up the colours. In this one we have grey and black and it just adds for a nice looking chandelier with a fence on top to make it look like it's hanging down and I think it adds a lot to the room. But if we focus on the dining table now, this is a very simple dining table and very easy to pull off it is just wood stairs and a combination of different ones like oak and dark oak just wrapped around each other to make a nice dining table the reason i like this dining table is because it actually has a little indent underneath so it looks like the chairs can actually slide underneath now if we move on to the chairs these are some very nice chair designs where we have a slab and just a door on the back of it and then on the door we have a plain white banner just to add as some cushioning for the chair. I, I like this chair design a lot and it's one that you see used quite regularly in Minecraft now. Now if we go around guys we're going to have some look at all these features around here and this feature here is a nice bookshelf slash glass cabinet design where you can put armor stands within the glass just to add some features right there and we also have a nice little bookshelf cabinet down here. Now if we go around around this side here we have this very nice painting feature usually people will just put paintings on the wall by themselves but look what you can do guys you can add some blocks around it and it just adds some extra detail and it looks great and we have a nice little lamp here again with the use of armor stands and you use a piston push down the glowstone block on top of the armor stand and then you get a awesome looking lamp right there and then just to finish off the room just add some leaves around just like some plants growing up the wall and we have the same uh, cabinet design that we had on the other side but with a different use of a custom head and a little bit of a bookshelf there as well one thing I did notice about this room guys was the use of sand as the walls now that's not a very common block that people use to build their houses but guys I challenge you to try it out it's a very very nice block if you use it with other blocks like uh, pillared quartz and dark oak it goes very nicely it's a nice block to build your houses out of and we have someone peeking in the window as well but this is a very very nice design very simple very easy blocks to use and it would look great in all your houses so moving on to the second design guys now this design again is a traditional style dining room and it is built by Epica. Now the first thing I notice about this room is the colour scheme. Now I've mentioned this before guys, colour scheme is something very important in Minecraft when you build in your rooms and stuff like that and it's something that can definitely decide whether a room is good and looks good and this is a very different colour scheme where you can see you've got the green and uh, dark green walls going around the outside and you've got um, red sandstone using for the, the chairs which is kind of different and you've kind of got this orange kind of theme going on here but if we take a look at the dining table very simple dining table again we've got some upside down stairs wrapping around each other and it's a very big dining table this time with some huge grand chairs either side of the dining table and I like the use of iron pressure plates on the dining table to make it look like actual plates like dinner is ready to be served kind of thing. Now a little trick here with the arms of these chairs here as you guys notice these are fence gates and you can open and close them and when you open them up they look like arms for a chair which looks absolutely great and if you guys have noticed at the back here we have a very 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 nice fireplace which is something that you could put in your dining dining rooms that looks awesome and adds a nice feature to your dining room this is a very grand fireplace design we have some anvils here for the front and some iron bars on top just to add like a little guard but it's a very nice dining table and beside it we just have some bookshelf designs just to finish off the final touches of this dining room this is a very very nice dining room Slightly different with the colour scheme but again I think it works and I think it goes with the majority of houses and we've got some nice detail in the floor here guys. That's something a lot of people forget and something so simple you could just add, just put some stairs in your floor and you can add a little feature like that just to your floors just to add the extra little bit of detail to your rooms. So let's move on to the next one. 
So this is the third design we have today guys and this is a modern style dining room and this dining room is built by myself. Now what I tried to go for with this dining room was a nice light airy feel but with a nice color scheme going through it and my color scheme is kind of like a white and a brown feel. Now if I go to the back wall over here you can see I've got this log wall which I think looks really nice adds a nice bit of texture and it matches the ceiling and the floor. It kind of looks like the floor is wrapping around that wall and then going up to the top but if we look at this dining table right here nice modern sleek design i've used um a daylight sensor for the chairs which looks pretty good they're slightly lower than a half block and then i've put item frame on the back just to add the back into the chair but if we look at this table this is just brown stained clay just going across like this in a two block wide all the way down however long you want it and then on the other side i've just put some snow slabs wrapping around it doesn't go all the way to the end it stops one block from the end and then just hold shift and put some carpet on top and it looks like a very sleek dining table design we've added a rug in here just to match with the color scheme with the whites the grays and the black and the browns and then over here we have a very nice modern sleek looking fireplace the ice there is something that you may not be able to do in survival unless you use packed ice or glass but if you're on a server and they have ice and melting disabled you could use it and it looks really great and then i've used some snow slabs up here just to add a slight little gap there just to add extra bit of detail and then either side we have some hanging lights which are very easy to do with some glass panes and some lantern blocks just hanging from the wall i prefer the look of lantern blocks i think they look better than glowstone especially in a in a modern design room um, and one thing i tried to do in this room guys and it added quite a lot when i did it was this overhang over the dining table it's just this extra bit of blocks that come out from the wall and then they go over the top of the dining table now without that i don't think it would look as good i think that's something that adds a lot to the room we have some shelves either side of it just to add some extra detail and then on this side we just have a little cabinet and a little wall feature that that goes back into the wall one block and we have some snow slabs so we have a little slight gap there and we have some iron trap doors with as a little side unit right here but overall i'm very happy with how this design came out i think it looks very nice very sleek and a very nice modern dining room so let's move on to the next one so moving on to the fourth design guys and this design is a traditional style dining room and it is built by Louise. Now this design is purely to show you guys what different style blocks you can use to make your rooms look slightly different. Now as you can see the walls of this room is using the prismarine blocks just mixing it up making it look a lot different but there's so many different combinations that you can use guys to make your walls look a lot different on the outside of your house. This is just something to show you the different mixtures that you can use. You've got pillared quartz at the bottom then you've got the chisel prismarine and then you've got the prismarine above it which actually looks quite good it's not something that i would personally choose straight away but if you mess around with different combinations you will get something that you like now if you look at this dining table here very nice design a lot smaller than the other ones but we have some two uh grand chairs either side with some smaller chairs in the middle very similar design to the other ones where we have the half slab we have the fence gate in the middle for the arms and we have the doors at the back as well um, we've got a nice bookshelf design at the back that goes all the way across the room there uh, very simple but looks pretty cool i like it when you add the ladders on top of the bookshelves it actually re re resembles a library where you can climb up and go and grab your books and just add some extra detail around your room and i think this room delivers that quite well look at all the extra little bits that add to complete in the room like just putting a chest on a little side cabinet we've got some custom heads got a little lamp that's on top of a cobblestone wall some pressure plates just adding a simple pressure plate on the side can just add some extra detail you look at the dining table we've got some custom heads this is a candle this is a burger right there add a cake to your dining table because that's where you eat right got some brewing stands as well and some plant pots and just some pressure plates just little things like that can make a room feel more complete and if we go over this side the same thing again we've got a nice little side table with a plant and a chest and we've got some nice wall are around the sides here and just with some plants as well this room is a perfect example of how you can add just little bits to your rooms to make it look more complete and just more fuller as a room so yes very nice design so let's move on to the final design 
So this design is the fifth and final design guys and this is probably my favourite design. Now this is a cabin style dining room and it is built by Capitano and I have to say I honestly love this design. I love the cosy feel of it, I love the colour scheme, it's just everything about it. Now one thing I want to point out in this room guys is the dining table. This is a smaller dining table, you don't always have to go huge with your dining tables and make them really grand. This one works absolutely great in this room just four chairs very simple you've got stairs in the corners and it's just made out of half slabs just like this very nice dining table with some iron pressure plates around to rep represent the plates and there's some very nice chairs using the same colored wood for the chair so this is a spruce slab a spruce door and then a brown banner which makes it look like a very nice complete chair now if i move over to this side of the room here we have a little seating area and there's one thing i wanted to point out to you guys is look at this little feature right here now what that is that is a armor stand with an iron chain mail helmet with a birch block that has been pushed down on top of it with a piston and then you get this little checkered kind of symbol on there and what that is meant to be is kind of like a checkered table or a chess table where they're playing sitting down playing some chess which looks awesome in my opinion we have some nice shelves around here and some plant features going around if we go around here we have a very nice back wall and so simple to pull off guys look at that there's some logs going up and down from the roof to the ceiling and you just add some shelves in and some bookshelves uh, in the back of the wall as well again just some, with some little extra detail with some plant pot and just adding like a little bit of carpet on top of a shelf like that makes it look like a piece of clothing is kind of folded up put it put there and if we look in the middle of them two bookshelf designs we have this awesome grandfather clock design now this is great guys this is an armor stand inside other blocks and this is all done in vanilla you put an upside down stair at the bottom you put the armor stand on top of the upside down stair you push glass down with a piston on top of it then you put push a stair down on top of that and then you put a half slab on top and you surround it with doors and it looks like a great grandfather clock right there now if we move over to this side of the room we have a awesome looking fireplace design which fits so well with this cabin style dining room um, nice grand feel to it where chimneys going up we've got some anvils covering up like the guard for the fireplace there and some more plant features around it and just to add to to the detail to this room guys we've got some some custom wood heads right here just to add like fire wood that you could put on the fireplace which looks absolutely great and so last but not least we have a nice lamp design with a brewing stand and a bit of glowstone and then some custom maps around the glowstone just to add that extra bit of detail now this is honestly one of my favorite dining rooms in this whole top five and i love it i think it looks absolutely great and it is something that i have definitely taken inspiration from myself so guys, there we have it, the top five dining room designs. I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys, and you got tons and tons of inspiration from all them designs. Feel free to take aspects from every single design and make your own dining room designs. If you wanna tweet me your design, guys, my Twitter is at Biggs87X. I retweet any designs that you guys tweet at me. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next top five designs video. Now when you first enter this room, the first thing you may notice is this kind of center unit right here which kind of links around and comes out and represents a bar to the kitchen. Now what I wanted to do here is bring down this center area here to add something modern above and just make this...